Deep Space Radio, where the stars is our stage and the universe is our audience. All right, welcome back to Deep Space Radio. Um, for those of you just joining, I am your host, Max, and I just want to say welcome. I hope you enjoy this little radio show from our corner of the galaxy. You know, the other day I took a trip to New Atlantis, and I swear I've never been harassed in a spaceport as much as I was over there. I mean, I really enjoy my visits every time I'm around the Alpha Centauri system, but this past visit really worked my nerves. First, there was this shitty security guard guy, and he kept telling me I wasn't allowed to enter the city because my ship and cargo never got properly scanned, which, come on, we all know that is complete and utter bullshit. Seriously, you can't grab, jump into any UC space system without getting scanned for contraband within the first few seconds. So, like, I told that UC security guard, fuck you, dude. You're so full of shit. Oh. <laughs> well, Needless to say, that didn't go over very well, and yours truly here found himself locked up in the brig for a day on the UC Vigilance. Side note, what a fucking nice ship. Definitely a crown jewel for good old UC Sysdef. Anyways, back to the story. After a day aboard the UC Mothership, those good people higher up the food chain all decided this was all a misunderstanding and let me on my merry little way. However, I will say, it's kind of hard for me to give any credit to the UC government. I, I mean, honestly, my daring escape can really be attributed to the help of some good friends over at the Settled Systems News Network. You know, seriously. Geraldo, if you're listening, thanks, pal. I owe you a few beers next time we're together. All right, so now I'm finally able to get back into the city and I make my way down to my favorite spot in New Atlantis, Kay's House Restaurant located in the well. It's always my first stop because the grub down there is so fucking amazing. Well, I guess this past time it ended up my second stop. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sitting there munching on some delicious Red Harvest spaghetti when guess who walks in and sits at the table across from me? If you said the fucking asshole you see security guard, you'd be right. He sits down at the table with his wife, and when he looks up, he sees me. Now I'm sitting there minding my own damn business when this guy stands up and starts to make shit with me again. I mean, fuck, who pissed in this guy's boots, right? Anyways, he gets in my face saying he doesn't care who I'm friends with. He's not one to let people break the rules on his watch. So I wipe my mouth, throw my napkin on the table, then I stand up and punch that fucker right in the mouth. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in cuffs, being escorted out of the place. However, it seems like nobody else on the planet liked that guy because as I was being arrested, the whole place erupted in applause. And the other USC security that arrested me whispered to me that it was about time somebody tuned up the other guard. So I guess if there has to be a point of this story, it would be if you're fascinated by amazing battleships and you're in New Atlantis, punch a loud mouth ass hat in the face and you too can find yourself on a vacation aboard the UC Sista Vigilance. All right, that's enough story time with Max for now. Let's move on to our next set of amazing tunes. This next song is another amazing song by the Dirt Road Demons. It tells the story of what I'm guessing is a Freestar Ranger and his epic battle against the Wild Ashton Aquila. So sit back, relax, and let's all listen to the song titled Lone Space Ranger by the Dirt Road Demons.
tequila's desert A pack of ash to gather round The alpha of the pack Let out a vicious sound But the man called Long Space Range Quickly shot them down drives me wild. Oh, chunks. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, chunks. Oh, chunks. I want it. I need it. I've got to have it. Chunks. Delicious, convenient, and oh so satisfying. Available now at a Chunks restaurant near you. Welcome back, everybody. Now, this is a first, but I've got absolutely no new news for y'all at the moment. Instead, I have another rockin' and bangin' tune that we can all jam out to. Since we've been on the topic of New Atlantis recently, there have been rumors that the notorious bounty hunter, the Mantis, had been spotted asking questions at the viewport. So, in honor of that special sighting, why don't we have a listen to the amazing hit song by the classic rocks titled, Mantis in New Atlantis. Oh, 
Radio. Now, I'm not really someone who subscribes to the typical religions and faith that we all have around the settled systems. I mean, I've talked to the people that are faithful to both the enlightened and those individuals who align as universal, but I've got to say, there must be something semi-legit with those snaky Varun characters. Am I right? I mean, any group that gets to have a say in the piece of the settled systems must be important, right? Anyways, just last night, I took my little spaceship out for a cruise around the stars. And while I was out there on the cosmic seas, I got hailed by a group of people who were looking to get into contact with some house Byron zealots. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I mean, who would want to put themselves into that kind of danger? Well, needless to say, I wasn't able to help those poor people out. But after a lengthy conversation with them, they eventually opened up to me as to why they were zealot hunting. You see, these people were actually a new band here in the settled systems, and they were obsessed with the ideas and views of those space serpent crazies. These guys called themselves the serpent siblings. And when they found out that I was Max from the DSR, they begged me to play their new song. Now, I can't begin to tell you guys how many singles and demos I get on the regular. So needless to say, I was skeptical, but I'm not too sure. But something about this group had me interested. So I took a chance and listened to their song. And I must say, even though this song is super culty and Varun obsessed, the song is straight up absolute fire. So I decided to let the leader of this group record a little intro so they could introduce their banging tune. And now I'm going to play it for you all right here, right now. Hey, this is Archie from the band The Serpent Siblings, and I am so excited to introduce you all to our brand new song called Contraband. Thank you, Max, for taking a chance on us. Seriously, you legit rock. We hope you all enjoy it. In the shadows we survive In the system we will die Every morning feels the same With this breath we hide our names
Are you ready for a one-of-a-kind experience? An experience unlike any other in the entire galaxy. Well, look no further than the Red Mile. Located on the planet Porama 3 in the ungoverned Porama system, the Red Mile is a gambler's paradise and it's home to the notorious blood sport that is its namesake. While many are heartless enough to bet on competitors sent out to their inevitable deaths, very few are bold enough and capable enough to reap the spoils of running the Red Mile. So, if you find yourself looking to make some extra credits, or if you're brave enough to try and activate the Red Mile Beacon, make your way to Porama 3. The Red Mile Mauler is waiting. You know how I recently played that old archived exclusive recorded interview with Jasper Cricks? Well, ever since I played that clip, I have received countless messages and requests from all you Crimson Space swashbucklers asking to be on the show or for some special tune request. Honestly, I find it hilarious. But it's not the kind of hilarious that would make me say no. And some of you might think I'm crazy, but for your special listening pleasure, I have the privilege to welcome one of those space pirates to the show. So in saying all of that, Rolf, welcome to the show. You're on the air, bud. Hey, Max. Thanks for letting me on the show. <laughs> well, let's be honest here. After your message of having my station locked and engaged with your missiles, I don't really feel like I had much of a choice. Well, that's a pretty astute observation, Max. While I appreciate that you offer your show to all factions in the settled systems, I feel like you haven't done enough to show the world exactly who the Crimson Fleet actually is. And you don't really paint an accurate picture of us. The one that's supposed to put fear in the ears of anyone who hears our name. Wolf, my boy, to tell you the truth, I don't feel like I need to elaborate on the picture that has already been painted. I mean, come on, man. The fleet's actions speak for themselves, don't they? Oh, they most certainly do. But. I believe it's important for anyone that speaks on our behalf, does it in a way that we approve of. Haha, uh -huh. it's kind of a subtext in the pirate code. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I'm not a pirate, buddy. So those codes, yeah, that, that don't apply to me. I've got some heartbreaking news for you, Max. The fleet's codes, well, they apply to all. And I, I must say, I'm so fucking sick and tired of everyone I meet acting like they don't. I'll tell you what it is. It's because of people like you, and you're joking around, in all of your light-hearted jabs. It makes us look weak, and like I said, I'm sick and fucking tired of it. People like you have got to pay. There has to be an example made. I just can't sit by and let you shit all over the power and authority that Jasper Cricks established. You and your shitty radio show has got to go. When I'm done with you, I'm going to show the systems that, me, Rolf, is not someone to be met. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, folks. Hmm. And I, I kind of just shot my station's defense missiles and blew that fucker out of the sky. I mean, I just couldn't take any more of that monologuing. Like, come on, we get it. You're a bad boy. You do bad things. <laughs> Anyways, well, it looks like I'm going to have to go on hiatus for a little bit. And well, since we we're just talking about the Crimson Fleet, why don't I leave you all with another tune from what seems to be my favorite band as of late? Uh, it's a song called Jasper Creek's Gonna Get This Fix by the Dirt Road Demons. Um, and don't worry, folks, I promise I'll be back as soon as the coast is clear. Anyways, enjoy the song. From New Atlantis streets Raised where the stars and the shadows meet Caught in the sin prison planet is fate Turn the tables, pull the game Lock the chains, but it's fire burn Learn to charge, this is fate turn Let a coup to break free The crimson skies became a sea Just what Crick's gonna get his fix Treasure hunts through the cosmic mix Pirate's life with the rebel's grip Crimson Fleet is legacy lit Thank you. 
told Golden glory in the story's bold A thousand lights in his name they glow Where he vanished no one knows To the cosmic mix Pirate's life with the rebel's grip Crimson fleet is legacy lit His lost legacy lit is our audience.